Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JC2K video. In today's video, I simply want to discuss the fact that just talk about this weekend's content, this past week in general, and talk about my kind of stance on my team right now, as well as my stance on this weekend's content specifically, and just why content drops don't really matter anymore, I guess, um, in my team, and just the lack of excitement, I think, surrounding even a decent content drop like today, where we got several good pink diamonds multiple good diamonds and yet like i don't think there's any excitement in the drop and the problem is the things that bring excitement to drops are things that are limited to so many it's just the game's in an interesting state right now and i think it's worth talking about um at a different level than just ranting or complaining about something i don't like just kind of discussing some things that i find interesting about the state of the game right now before we up and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so i will say first things first would not recommend opening packs especially this weekend i don't think the odds i mean you have a 4.7 percent chance at a 92 plus um but overall i mean the pink diamond odds are still not that high and i don't think any of the pink diamonds are like game breaking this weekend I, I would stay away from opening packs in all honesty i know a lot of people probably blew a bunch of money last week on packs chasing wimby as well so just to let this week be a, a reset for sure for most people is what i would recommend um with that being said this isn't a terrible drop it's just a strange drop i guess is what i'll say like because it's just today's content feels so boring is the honest way i think i would describe it right now today's content is just so boring there's nothing to really grind um i mean and i know D the dia de los martos event was a good event this past week i'm not taking away from that i think they actually did a pretty good job with that event outside of obviously the shea aspect of it but the rest of the event was good and they gave us the ability to basically grind for every single reward besides shea relatively easily could get a bunch of multiple rewards for free quite easily um just by grinding the event the past week which was nice the problem is when there's not something like that going on the game's just there's no real motivation to play i have a hard time sitting here and thinking people are loading up my team today because they're excited to grind something because what is there to be specifically excited to grind i mean maybe you got to load up and grind some showdown um or whatever mode you like to play right like if you're trying to get towards the 500 wins in the park or the 250 and showdown or whatever the case may be then maybe and you know at that point i get i get it people are still grinding for that reason but if you're not one of those people who's out here grinding for like these end goal extremely time consuming rewards on a day like today what is there to do on my team that is enticing you to play the game because i don't think two times rep in breakout is doing it that is the only quote unquote special event thing that 2k has dropped um for this weekend and like there's just no excitement about whatsoever i don't see why anybody would even want to do this to be totally honest like what is the point i think they dropped a diamond hidden gem today as well and it didn't it wasn't even right um like they it, they dropped like a glitched one uh maybe it was supposed to be hold on we got i can't even find it now i thought there was one that they dropped earlier that had amethyst they must have taken it out there was like five amethyst laser focus players for a diamond hidden gem but there are no amethyst laser focus players and so I will say number one today's drop doesn't have any good budget cards right besides diamonds like nothing above diamond is actually good and is actually worth getting at all or nothing below diamond i should say so that's not a great start to the week for the content and then you get a content drop where it's just like there's no real motivation or point to grinding the game right now you know what i'm saying because like there's nothing to grind so they drop a mediocre content drop that only the top tier content is really worth getting. And yeah, there's a few good cards. I'm not taking away from the drop. I think this is a drop where if you need a small forward, Kermit Washington, especially if you rhythm shoot, can be a really solid card. All the pink diamonds are good. Jamal Crawford's a really good point guard as well. Um, the other diamonds may not quite so good, but not like horrifically awful. This is just, it's not that the drop is like the worst drop ever or anything like that. It's just that the content as a whole, I think, could be a lot better. You know what I mean? And so... I, it's hard for me to get super excited about my team the mode right now i guess um when there's doing because the things that get people excited are when they drop cards like wimby the problem is when they drop cards like wimby it, those cards are hard to get you know what i mean they're either expensive or unattainable in a lot of ways um and so i was eventually able to get wimby from selling all the stuff because I, I opened a couple hundred dollars worth of packs last week right like like i, I did do that and that um I basically enabled me to get Wimby once i sold everything and sold my Embiid back once i because i because i bought an Embiid the day that Wimby came out for like 
460 and then sold them back for like 600 plus K. So I made like over 100 KMT of profit from doing that, um, which wound up being really, really nice. And I was eventually able to get Wimby, so I do have him now. But the problem with that type of drop is that even even then, like it took me, uh, it was not cheap to get him. You know what I mean? And I say I got luckier than most. Um, it's just when there's not a card like Wimby, there's no real excitement around a content drop. And when there's not an event like last weekend, there's no real excitement about my team gameplay. Like there's no real motivation or reasoning for somebody to want to grind my team and get to playing the mode right now. I just don't see, I'm, I'm sure there are people out there who are just grinding the game for the love of the game, right? And there's, that's nothing wrong with that. I think as somebody whose job is to play my team, I don't always have the same perspective that a lot of people have about enjoying the game for what it is and just playing the game. Cause I look at it differently. I think um, since it's a source of revenue for me, but I just, at the same time, I do have a hard time being super overjoyed and excited about my team right now because I just don't think they're like really thriving as a game mode. Um, and I think this game has, the, here's the honest truth. I heard somebody describe 2K25, and yes, there's a lot of things about 2K25 that aren't great, but I heard somebody describe 2K25 in a way that I thought was pretty good. 2K25 is not a terrible game. It's just boring. And that was the description people gave to this game, and I think it's a very fair one. Because most of the time, you just kind of sit in this halfway limbo where you're just kind of bored. And then, I mean, if you really want to upgrade your team, you're going to have to spend more money than you probably want to, right? And that's that's frustrating, I think, for people, and understandably so. And so, you very easily just get to a spot where it's just like, well, I don't really know what the point is to grind in this game. And I think if I was a casual player, I would be at that point probably a decent while ago, to be totally honest. And so, I don't know. I'm just still a bit tired of 2k i have a hard time overcoming my frustrations with the mode even when they do things that i think are generally good it's still hard for me overall to overcome my frustrations with the mode too much but at the end of the day they did some decent stuff last week i'll give them that they did and i hope that it continues i hope that this isn't a we're gonna sit here for the next three weeks and get no free grindable content because we actually had a decent event for once like if that happens that's gonna be a real problem to me um so i know I guess we'll see pretty soon what their plan is, but hopefully this is just a one weekend thing where this is the one weekend because we had an event all week that they don't give us grindable content stuff and the next week we're bringing back more good grindable content for the weekend and hopefully this is a good trip with our win streak, all that stuff uh, as well. So we will have to wait and see what happens in the next week or two, but just don't want to be sitting in this limbo that we're in right now where it just feels like there's not a lot of point to the content drop and the game feels kind of dry and kind of boring just trying to avoid that i think as a whole is kind of the goal right now and you know what we will see how it goes so um i'm not like mad right now at 2k i just think they could do better and i hope that they do they've had good moments and they've had some bad moments this year no doubt about it hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace